Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and we're going to talk about three different methods for sharpening an image. So before we get started, I do want to say that there is a point where this will not work, where the image is so soft that you will never retrieve any value out of it. But for the most part, a lot of times people just have an image that's just not quite as crisp as they want, and they want to get it crisper. And so with this image right here, it's very hazy, and uh, I've got focus on the mountains, so the kind of fence is out of focus a little bit. But what if I wanted to achieve a greater focus overall? Well, the first step a lot of people already know is to go to the video effects and type in sharpen and then you'll find the sharpening tool and you can drop a medium or light a heavy sharpen or the default with none on it and uh, or with sorry 50 percent sharpening and you can add sharpness to the image now as you see here let's zoom in I want to show you what happens when you do this you're actually really defining the edges on all the pixels and as you can see we've kind of created little pixel squares some extra noise in this if you want to sharpen it this way you can't just jack the sharpening all the way up because you'll start pulling noise out of the picture sharpening the noise in the picture instead of actually sharpening what you want to sharpen so the limitation with this is you can only sharpen it so much before you run out of detail so we're gonna use the levels effect but I do want to note that you can do this in the color correction and you can go to input and output and the input min and output max here in the color correction tool is the newer way to do this but if you're doing corrective shots a lot of times I like to do them as individual effects instead of all inside of the color correction effect so there's a reason you can do these separately so we're going to grab the levels effect here grab the default and drag it on and what you can do is you can actually let's get rid of that color grading because we didn't do anything with that go back to our levels here and if you increase the input start and out increase the output end, you're actually increasing the contrast. Now, forget about the sky for a second. As you increase the contrast, you're actually kind of sharpening the image. And different images will have a different amount of sharpening you can do through contrast while keeping it realistic looking. I'm exaggerating for this purpose so you can see the sharper looking fence with without. See, the fence detail really comes back a lot. Um, but you do lose a lot of the image um, as you do this. So you have to kind of pick something, just do a little bit of levels, level adjustment. That works for you to kind of help bring some of the sharpness back to the image without getting a video that's different than the video you want to have. So and I'm going to get rid of these two. The third method is the most extreme. Uh, if you hit Control, Shift, and Q, you can create another track. And holding Control, while this is highlighted, you can click and drag and duplicate it. You can also right-click and copy-paste if you would like. But if you duplicate these exactly end-to-end, -end, so they start together and end together, you can change the composite mode and do a bitmap. So first off, I have a whole video about composite modes. I'll link it up here. But you can go to composite modes and then go to custom and go to bump map I said bitmap but I mean bump map add okay and now we've added a composite mode of a bump map and you're like uh oh this doesn't look anything like I want it to look that's okay we gotta change a couple of things first off we need to go to the light type and go to omnidirectional because what you're doing is you're actually creating a uh, you're putting like an extra spotlight on here and you're creating a alternate lines based off where uh, Vegas kind of sees natural lines in the image and you're also pulling out noise and all sorts of stuff and texture so really we're looking at the texture of the image we're giving the image texture uh, and if you go down to ambience you can increase the ambience of the image and you can do it to where see if you toggle the effect on and off you can do it to where you keep the same roughly the same brightness and that's what you want is to work with your ambience and intensity and the light type to kind of keep roughly the same brightness because the way we're using this effect is really just to sharpen some. So you can see how we do have the edges back on everything, but this re image is no longer realistic looking. Uh, what we do is we take the bump height and we drop it down to nothing. Now barely raise it up until you feel like you have an image that pulls out some of the detail that you were missing before. This will kind of help give you edges back to things that didn't have edges before. Now you can't go very far without losing the realism. Without the other effects it, it still does bring a lot of detail. It will kind of change the way your lighting works throughout 
you can see the fin if you focus on the fence line here, you can really see how the detail kind of comes back into the image at that first step. You can get the grass and the fence line looking sharper than they originally did. So those are three methods to sharpen an image that just isn't quite sharp enough for you. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time.